Hey guys, it's your girl Rashida with another episode of Miss Goody's Kitchen. On today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to make a light, tasty, fruity sangria recipe just in time for summer. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so let's start by going over some of these ingredients that we're going to use to make this wonderful sangria. So, the first thing you're going to need, of course, is wine. That's like the base of sangria, and I love wine. So, for me, I'm using my favorite wine, which is a white Zinfandel. Uh, you can use whatever wine you like. So if you like something like a Moscato, if you like a Rosé, you can use that. So don't be afraid to use something with a little bit of color in it. Just make sure it's something that you like. And then the next thing I'm going to use is this mango juice. So I'm using a little bit of mango juice because I want it to be fruity. Usually when you're drinking a sangria, it has like fruit flavor to it. So this is going to help me achieve that. And then I'm using a sparkling water. So because my mango juice already has sugar in it, plus the wine already has sugar in it, I chose to use a sparkling water instead of something like ginger ale because that's just sugar on top of sugar on top of sugar on top of sugar. So this one has less calories, has zero carbs, zero sugar. So I think this would be better. And then it's gonna also add a little fizz to our drink. So that's gonna be good as well. And then we're gonna add some fruit. So here I have some grapes. I'm just using some regular grapes that I got at my supermarket. And then I have some pineapples. But whatever fruit you have at home, don't go out and go crazy just to make some sangria. I'm just trying to show you guys how you can make an easy summer sangria at home using what you have already. So, all right guys, so let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our wine to our pitcher so anything you have whether it's like a big glass bowl if you want to make it like in a punch bowl you can use that so we're going to pour that in whoa whoa we're getting messy All right, and then I'm going to add in some of my juice, just a little splash. Okay, it's my mango juice. And then for a little fizz, we're gonna add in our sparkling water. And again, this is a peach flavored sparkling water, but it has no sugars, added sugars, no extra carbs. Like we care about that, right? Look what we're drinking. Then I'm gonna mix that up. Let me taste this first before I add my fruit because I wanna make sure it has enough like fizz to it. Let's see. Ooh. This really looks like sangria when you go to like a restaurant. This is good. I'm gonna add a little bit more sparkling water. And I'm gonna add a little bit of more mango juice. This is good. And it's so simple, guys. You can like definitely make this at home. Have a party. You wanna impress anyone, but like I made sangria. Instead of just bringing wine, try something different. So now I'm gonna add in my grapes. And then this, you can let it sit overnight too. So if you're having a party the next day, you can make this the day before. So I'm gonna add in some grapes. And then this is even better because guess what? The liquor is gonna soak into it. A little bit of the juice. Mix that up. Look how beautiful that looks. It looks so pretty. I love that. And then, if you're feeling a little frisky, I have something down here I might add to that. I have a little bit of, you know, a little bit of vodka. What does that hurt? Put a little splash in. And there you have it, guys. That was so easy. We used five ingredients, and if you want to, you can also add the vodka. It really depends on your preferences. Let's give this a try. The finished product. The finished product. So let's give this a try. Mm. 
It smells so good. See, this, this is how you make a sangria. This, I'm telling you guys, if you have anyone that you want to impress, look, just get a bottle of wine, get some juice, get some salsa water. This is like 50 cents at the store. Get some apples or whatever you have in your fridge, some grapes, some pineapples, and you're good to know. You're good to go. <laughs> so, so I don't know if you guys saw my rum punch recipe, but this is actually like my second drink recipe filming back to back. So I'm getting a little bit of tipsy, but I'm gonna hang in there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe on how to make the perfect summer sangria. You guys know what to do. Comment, like, subscribe, and visit MissGoodiesKitchen.com for more recipes. I'll see you guys next time.